And look at that. Is that a rocket? Can you show them how it launches? Yeah, watch it. Okay, that how? Can you throw that one? Hold her, hold it with your finger on there. All right, throw it. Oh yeah. Hi, I'm Joshua Finn with JNH Aerospace. Hope and Paul are behind the camera. We're out here talking about the Protege Catapult Glider again for Science Olympiad competition because they can't stop me from saying it in the videos. It's just the way it's going to be. Um, by the way, this is the Carbonet 12. For those of you that have not seen it, if you um, later in the year there may be an announcement that the Nationals is it a, is it a high ceiling site, and if it is. Uh, a very mildly modified version of this just to, to trim the wings a little bit and maybe lighten it up a little uh, will probably become the optimum aircraft for that event so uh, for the for the nationals so you can see mine is completely out of trim and is not gliding well um, but we're out here we're going to try and put up a few flights with the protege and just show you how to um, what it can do and and how it flies so that was a terrible hand launch. Let me try try and do that again. When did this? Um, <laughs> stealing the show. So what you want is a nice, um, fairly nose level glide. I can't seem to get it into the glide by hand launching it. Um, but what's more important is when you launch when you launch this airplane, you want to see it go straight and gradually nose up and yaw off to the right if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, you'll trim it the other way. So let's see if we can get this on camera. Alright, so not quite. Alright. May tilt it a little to the right here. And there we go. Just like that. So the way that you get that is you're going to get the that pulling to the right, you're going to get it by offsetting your rudder. Uh, and you can see I've got this one bent uh, fairly heavily. And you twist your, your tail around to get, get things happy there. And I've got, and I just hand twisted this panel. Um, so if you look straight on, try to ignore how warped the stab is. This is from the, the humidity out here and I've been tweaking it just to try to compensate. Uh, but you can see that this is angled slightly up relative to this wing, just looking straight along the axis of the fuselage. So we're going to put this on the catapult here. I'm trying to launch it in wings level about 70 degrees. There we go. And a big stall. That looks like it wants a little bit of right rudder. I actually tried, let's see here. Just touch more right rudder. Let's see what this does. Oh, way too much. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. That's the flight profile that you want to see right there with it just snapping into that glide. It's not going to be a spectacular flight time because I didn't launch it that high. And 20 seconds. So, alright, here it goes. Ah, oh, that was not a good transition. Now it's going to go running. And right about 20 seconds again. Let's see. A little better. Nope. It's not gonna be that great of a time. It was only 18. Really wanted to get that 25 because I know it can do it. Oh, 
Nope. The humidity is just too high, um, and it, the adjustments are just getting ridiculous now. So anyway, um, what, you saw, what you saw there, a couple of those launches were close to 30 feet, so you won't be able to get quite that in an average gym, but the, the point here is, um, on average, you'll be able to get about 20 seconds out of this airplane. I've not spent a lot of time trimming it, um, and again, I'm chasing warps and whatnot because it's humid out here. And basically, I just trimmed this airplane out in about uh, 10 minutes earlier, uh, as, as close as I could. So, anyway, this is kind of what you should expect out of a protege, and uh, we hope that, uh, that you'll choose us. Um, also, we hope that you've gotten some knowledge so that who, who's ever glider you choose, or if you build your own, that you'll uh, just be able to get some more ideas for how to adjust these. So, we'll talk at you later. Bye.